what's going on everybody what's up what's up what's up what's up give everybody a second to get in here what time is it good afternoon everybody good afternoon I'm late I'm late clocking in I've been out here shifting I meant to go live a little bit earlier. What's up, Don? What's up, Don? Casey, Brenda, Nadia, Grandma Deb, Patty, Sylvia. What up, everybody? Donna, Debbie, Sonia, Carrie. What up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in. So look, I'm not even gonna waste y'all's time today. I'm not going to waste y'all's time today. We, I told y'all we was going to come back to the Confederate Cemetery and try to do a couple of sessions around the soldiers. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The statue of these ladies, every time I come to this cemetery, I feel like they are just judging me. Look at this. So these are the three ladies. Hurrah for the ladies. They are the soul of the war. Alabama soldier to a kinsman, 1863. Representing the ladies who dedicated their time to bury the men and maintain their graves. So yeah, so these this is this statue is a dedication to the women that took care of the soldiers and buried them and, and maintained the graves. But every time I come here, I just feel like and this and to be and to be very respectful <laughs> is this lady right here. <laughs> she just gives me that like mm-hmm. Come on in here, sit your butt down, don't touch nothing. Don't you touch nothing. Don't you look at nothing. And let me hear you, let me, let me make sure both feet and both hands is on the ground. But yeah, y'all. So here, we are at the Marietta Confederate Cemetery. And all of the soldiers here are separated by the state in which they fought. So this plot of land is dedicated to all the soldiers who fought from Alabama. So this is the Alabama marker. And then over here, it's a it's a cool cemetery, y'all, because you have the this big arc, the pillars, and it says Confederate Cemetery, erected in 1911. Over here are all the soldiers that fought from Florida. I think over there is North and South Carolina. And then Tennessee is back there. Yeah, but I kind of want to go over, go under these trees. Then they have the names of a lot of the soldiers. But some don't, a lot don't. So yeah, I want to go over here to the stones that don't really have any names on them. So this is Alabama. We finna talk to the good soldiers that fought for Alabama. Let me find a place under this tree. What's up, everybody? Thank you for whoever just contributed. I appreciate you, I missed it, but thank you, thank you. All right, I think this is a cool spot. We got, we gonna be get behind the, our, our judging, the judging ladies. <laughs> we are gonna set up over here under this tree. All right, give me a second, y'all, while I get set up.
All right, so. I feel like I'm at school. <laughs> Gotta get my backpack together. All right, family. We are in the Alabama section of this Confederate cemetery. So these are all the soldiers that fought from Alabama. So to all the soldiers that are here resting, first and foremost, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. My name is Daylin. I come with a group of people called the Graveyard Shift. And we come to resting communities like this. And we speak to those who may not have been spoken to in a long time. I would love for you to speak to us. We would love to listen. All these little like acorns keep falling from the tree. <laughs> so you gotta be aware of that. All right, y'all. So again, this is a live session, y'all. So I can't transcribe or translate the box in real time. Y'all have to do y'all's job too. Time for y'all to clock in to work. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so behind. I got so much editing to do for y'all. Oh, I got so many, so many dope videos to drop for y'all. The video that I just dropped, uh, the video that I just shot today, I think I'm gonna release it today because it's interesting. I, I, I wanna hear y'all's thought. I feel like Mary Ellen got into a little to-do on the other side. <laughs> And I, I, w I would love for y'all to hear y'all's thoughts. So I'm going to do this spirit box session. I'm going to go home and edit. Yeah. My name is Daylin. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Now, I thought I heard a little bit of conversation. Let me rephrase my question. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? There's something. You know, Wait, I do. Can you tell me your name? So I know you all served your country, our country. We appreciate all the work that you put in. Can you tell me what state you fought for? Most of us. Can you tell me the name of the section that I'm sitting in? What state is this? Sit on the border. Y'all, look, I'm glad I have y'all on live because I was going to do a video about this separately, but I'm just going to do it with y'all live. I come here often and I've always wondered if the different states of soldiers would treat me differently or have a different type of conversation with me. Alabama seemed like they're not giving me no, like I can't really... Maybe y'all are hearing something that I'm missing. I am by traffic. There are birds. They're all joggers. So I am distracted. I wouldn't normally do a session right here just because, like, it's right by the road. The freeway, the road, the parking lot. 
but this is the first section when you walk in is Alabama. So I'm gonna try a little bit, a few more minutes with Alabama. And if we don't get any conversation, we gonna just check that box of Alabama ain't got love for the graveyard shit. <laughs> so then we gonna move over to another state and we gonna check out a few and see if the conversations differ by, you know, the soldiers that are resting there. So we gonna give Alabama another chance. To all the soldiers from Alabama, again, we come in love, love, love. We would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts, your story, your name. Allow us to help remember you. Let's try again. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Waiting. I'm having trouble hearing you. Can one person come through? Hi. Can you tell me your name? Boy. Would you like for me to leave your area? They say no shit. Nope, there's Mary Ellen. Just lifting you up. Okay. I'm going to move to another section. Is that okay? Sure it is. Hey, man. I know when I'm not wanted around. I take very, very good social cues. And then Mary Ellen showed up. That makes me feel like, yeah, she was there for a reason. So let's shake it, guys. Shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Alabama not fooling with us, guys. And Gazettes. Let's move over here. Let's see who's over here. And a bird was chirping over here at this tree. So let's go over here with this bird was chirping. Since y'all like for me to <laughs> follow birds, we seem to get good responses when we listen to nature. We seem to get really good responses when we listen to nature. Y'all, that's one thing that I have started to appreciate doing what we do is us paying attention to our surroundings. Like we gotta start being aware of the things that happen around us because we could be potentially missing out on a lot of signs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I look at, I, I read the comments sometimes and then like I hear people, I read people, where are we at right now? This is the, hold on, let's see what state this is. Hold on. Okay, this is Georgia. Y'all want to do Georgia or y'all want to do, there's Missouri over there. Let's just do Georgia first because we're right here by Georgia. And there's a big tree <laughs> with shade. <laughs> with shade. We're going to get right up under this Georgia tree. Oh, hold on. Let's see what state this is over here first. Let's see what state this is. But what I was saying was, I read the comments and people like discredit a lot of the signs. And I'm just like, dang, that, that must suck <laughs> to be a person that like discredits everything. Like they jump to discrediting things. You should debunk. That's one thing, but to discredit, okay, this is Mississippi. We got Mississippi and Georgia. We gonna do Georgia first and then we gonna come back and do Mississippi. But when you keep discrediting 
signs and things over and over again, you might be potentially missing out on a sign that you needed. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense, y'all. This is what I be thinking sometimes. I just be like, dang, like you just credit everything. Like think about how many moments come past you in your life that you just brushed off. That could have been like life altering. I don't know. Just my little two cents, y'all. All right, so we're in the Georgia, the Georgia territory. The whole point is just be aware of the signs, y'all. Be aware of the signs. God, the universe, whatever you believe in lets you know when you're on the right path and when you should do something differently. There's always signs. You just have to be aware. Just be aware. All right. Now we are in Georgia. We're in Georgia, y'all. I have taken y'all from Alabama to Georgia. To all the spirits that are resting here in Georgia. My name is Daylin. I come in peace, love, and respect. I would love to speak to any of the soldiers that may have fought for the state of Georgia. Can I please speak to one of the soldiers resting over here? David. David just came through. David, did you fight for the Confederate? Where? Where? He said, yeah. Can you tell me something that you remember about that time? Shooting. I know y'all heard shooting. Okay. Were you able to... Were you able to make it home from war? Do you feel honored fighting for your country? Did you have a wife or a girlfriend that you left behind? Are you able to tell me her name? Did you say Maddie? Did you say that her name was Maddie? Yep. What was your favorite thing about Maddie? Simpler. Are you with Maddie now on the other side? Somebody said they heard Rachel. Okay. Are there any other soldiers that would like to come through? Can you tell me your name? 
somebody yelling again. Somebody said get lost. See, this is what happened earlier. Real quick, earlier, probably about 45 minutes ago, I was doing a session, Mary Ellen came through. It sounded like a man came through and was questioning like Mary Ellen's reason for being here. It sounded like she defended herself, but I don't know. It was kind of like that same similar situation now. So I don't know if maybe the soldiers are aware of Mary Ellen and her presence and they're trying to figure out who she is. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But let's keep listening. There's Walter. Walter ain't showed up in, a, in the past few times that we've been here today or yesterday. Walter, what made you show up? Nothing yet. Walter, are you here to help Mary Ellen? Okay, that was interesting. It seemed like when we first started, somebody came in right away, said his name was David, said he dated somebody. I feel like he said Maddie, somebody else said they heard Rachel, whatever it was, he said a woman's name. <laughs> Then Mary Ellen and Walter showed up. Somebody said they feel like Mary Ellen and Walter are together, like married together. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe they're a team. I don't know. But it seemed like the, the conversation kind of shut down. The, the, uh, the conversation shut down when Walter showed up. What y'all think? What y'all think? about to move around I'm about to go to uh is it bad that I'm judging what state to visit by which who has a tree <laughs> a shaded tree <laughs> we're gonna go to Mississippi let's go to Mississippi let's go to Mississippi y'all so Georgia gave us some conversation Alabama gave us nothing one person came through in Georgia, but we were then interrupted, not necessarily in a bad way, by Mary Ellen and Walter. What y'all thinking? What are y'all thinking? So somebody said they're our team of protectors. So they showed up. Maybe they knew something that we didn't know or felt something that we didn't feel. Look, I don't really question the operatives. <laughs> of our soldiers on the other side, man. Because I feel like they be watching out for us. All right, so I'm going to sit smack dab in the middle of Mississippi. I, for some reason, like, let me show you. This is Mississippi. I don't really fool with Mississippi, y'all. But even before doing these spirit box sessions, I felt like Alabama and Mississippi was going to give me some trouble. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. If y'all don't mind a little story time, why I don't really fool with Mississippi. For people that don't know, Mississippi, and this is be being transparent, Mississippi for black folks has been one of the most racist places you probably could ever find yourself. I remember one time, me and Juwan, me and Juwan, drove from Atlanta, Georgia to Dallas, Texas. So for people that don't know, we sell suits. We make men's suits. That's our business outside of television and entertainment. 
We sell men's tailored suits for weddings, uh, TV and film productions, and personal clientele. Got it, right? So we had a wedding that was due and we had to get the suits there. So we drove all the way to Dallas, drop the suits off, go to the wedding, everything's perfect. Exactly, it's called Lorenz Pratt. Thank you so much for putting that in the comment section. So we're driving back from Dallas to Atlanta and we're in Mississippi. It's probably like two o'clock in the morning. We're driving through Mississippi. We're not speeding, we're not doing anything. So the police, the highway patrol in Mississippi pulls us over. We like, dang, we not speeding, what's going on? So whatever, he pulls us over. He immediately pulls Jawan out the car. So Jawan is driving, I'm in the passenger seat. It's just us two in the car. So he pulls us over, he doesn't even do license and registration. He immediately asks Jawan to get out the car. So Jawan don't have nothing to hide. So Jawan gets out the car. He brings Jawan to the back of the car. And they're back there for like five or 10 minutes. I can't hear anything that they're saying. He then calls for backup. Backup gets there and he stays with Juwan. He pulls me out the car <laughs> and he's like, I'm gonna ask you the same questions I asked your friend. If anything's different, then we're taking you in. I'm like what? All right, whatever. So he's like, where y'all coming from? Dallas, Texas. Where'd y'all stay in Dallas? at my mama house. <laughs> Why was y'all in Dallas? We had to drop off some suits. All right, do you mind if we search the car? Sure. <laughs> Man, these police officers searched me and Juwan. They put us on the side of the freeway on the ground at two o'clock in the morning. It's car speeding by, it's nighttime. They bring out the dogs. So the dogs are now sniffing around the police car on the side of the freeway. They're going through all of our bags. The police officer walks up to me and Juwan, and I'll never forget. And he says, look, we're gonna tear this car apart. So I'm telling you now, if there's anything in the car, one of you just take the blame now. <laughs> and the other one, we will let go so he can then bail out the other one. So me and Jawan looking at each other like, man, we ain't got nothing in the car. He was like, I'm giving you one more chance right now. One of you take blame for whatever's in the car and we'll let the other one go. If not, if I walk off right now and I find something in this car, both of y'all are going to jail. So he walks off. I'm looking at Jawan. <laughs> Jawan looking at me. <laughs> Mind you, we best friends, man. We know each other like a back of our book. But a situation like that will make you start questioning each other. I'm like, Juwan, boy, you got some drugs in the car, man. <laughs> he like, nah, fool, do you got some drugs in the car? <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, man. And it's a rental car. So at that point, I'm thinking everything going through my mind. I'm like, dang, like what if somebody before us left some dope in the car? <laughs> and these police officers just so happened to find some drugs in this car. Y'all, everything went through my mind. We was on the side of the freeway, it was like woods. I was like, look, man, maybe I could run through these woods. <laughs> Cause it's two police officers, it's a dog, <laughs> and it's Jawan. I was like, maybe I can get a head start through these woods. But I was like, no, nah, that dog was gonna be on my ass. <laughs> I could have had that happen. Yeah, so they searched through everything and literally they come back maybe about 45 minutes later and they're like, all right, there's nothing in the car. And we was like, really? And they was like, yeah, you can get up off the ground. So we literally getting up off the side of the freeway at three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, brushing ourselves off. They putting the dog back in the car. They don't even put your bags back in the car. You gotta put all your stuff back up and put it in there yourself. <laughs> but anyway, I say all that to say, that's why I don't fool with Mississippi. And Mississippi don't fool with me. Yeah, that's a long story. <laughs> to tell y'all why I don't fool Mississippi. A train is going by. As soon as this train goes by, I cut the box on y'all. Oh man. Y'all see this train? Y'all, I apologize. That's gonna be a couple minutes, man. 
y'all might gotta just hear me ramble for a couple more minutes while that train passes by. But yeah, you what you love the sound. Ask the soldiers who commanded their troops. Okay, I got you. Nah, the train not slowing down. It's just coming through the town, like the the, the court, like not the courtyard, but like the city square. So it goes slower. Well, it's going, it's going quiet down in a second. Yeah, y'all. Mississippi, wow. Mississippi's a wild place. <laughs> but I done had experiences like that in Mississippi. The Georgia, Florida line, same thing happened. And in LA. Three times the police pulled me out the car like that and had me on the ground searching. <laughs> yeah, man. So you gotta be careful, guys. You gotta be careful. This train is really. Just give it a couple more seconds, y'all. It's going. It's going to pass by. It's not that long. Jessica, I appreciate you listening to my stories. I appreciate you listening to my stories. Yeah, I feel like y'all are family. This is my way of just uh, ghosting. Ain't easy, Jenna. I appreciate you. Yeah, y'all are like family. That's why I like doing the lives because I get feedback. I get to. Feel like I'm interacting with y'all. Oh, future ghost shirts. They drop Monday. I'm behind the schedule a little bit, y'all. They drop Monday. Future ghost shirts drop Monday. Y'all know how I work. T-shirt sales, man. Everything just go back to the channel. Everything goes towards traveling, filming, edit, all of that good stuff. So yeah, if you feel like buying a t-shirt, feel free to catch one. If you don't want to get one, that is A-OK. -okay. Your views is the currency that keeps this channel moving. Just keep sharing the videos, watching the videos, and liking the videos. That's what keeps the channel moving, y'all. That's all I ever asked of y'all, is to share and like the videos. Now, if you want a t-shirt, your boy got you. I got you. All right, so the train is almost done, y'all. It's quieting down now. The train, the train is quieting down. All right, they say the train, the train gives the ghost energy. I just want y'all to be able to hear. It's still moving, but now it's quieter. So all the spirits that are here, please feel free to holler at me. Please feel free to speak to me. I come in love, peace, and respect. <laughs> So all my Mississippi soldiers, thank you for your service. I know I may have had bad experiences in Mississippi, but I know Mississippi is a cool place. Yep. What's the one thing you miss the most about home? Family. Family. Did you have a lot of family? Who are you the closest to in your family? Who is said they act up? Who is the one person you missed the most when you went off to war? Well, I see it. 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 I
Do you remember a lot about your time at war? Always. Always. What stands out the most for you? I heard the toilet. Somebody wrote something about a toilet in the comments, but I just heard them say the toilet. What about the toilet? You said it was just a cup? Her black. Y'all hit that like button, y'all. Hit the like button. Stop what you're doing right now and hit the like button, please. Guys, sad. What's sad? What makes you sad? Are you at peace now? Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Shit, there isn't. Okay. Well, I will move around then. Hey man, I ain't getting no love, man. I heard he's a creep. I did heard. I heard creep. <laughs> I didn't want to acknowledge that. I was hoping y'all didn't catch that. I was like, man, why he called me a creep, man? Why I get called a creep? They told me I was a creep. Well, let me get my creepy butt on, <laughs> on to the out the way then. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. So, Alabama wouldn't talk. Georgia held a full conversation. Mississippi said I was a creep. <laughs> let's go over here. Let's see, let's see what state we can find now. Let's see who's over here. Dang, but that's right by the street, y'all. Let's go over here. I don't wanna... It's too loud by the street. Let's go over here. Okay. So this area right here is Virginia. Virginia. This is good old Kentucky. Let me see who's over here. What are we all? Getting my steps in today. Yes, I do. I sage myself. I cleanse myself. I pray for myself. But like I've said before, and I know I play around a lot, but again, my faith and belief in my, okay, how can I put this? Like the faith that I have that God is protecting me outweighs the fear that I may have of a, a attachment, if that makes sense. Like I really truly believe God has my back with what I'm doing for sure, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like we've had a many a conversations where I was like, God, if this ain't for me, if this is not 
something I'm supposed to be doing, if it's gonna be a detriment to me or my family, like I don't want to do it. And he just kept keep opening up more doors from it. So that's my, again, one of those signs. Like I tell people all the time, you gotta be aware. If something in your life seems to always be going well through no effort of your own, like, look at that. Like, look at that. Say you work at an office, right? And you do your day job, but everybody in the community knows that you make the best pies, right? Like, no matter what, somebody's always coming to you asking you, can you bake them a pie? And you, you do it because you love baking. <laughs> you just never thought that, damn, all these people come to me anyway. I could maybe, maybe open up my own bakery. <laughs> so it's like just being aware if opportunities seem to fall in your lap consistently through no effort of your own. Like you're not out looking for them. You're not searching for them. You didn't put forth any effort. It just keeps coming, knocking on your door. Take a look at it. It might be worth it. It might be God, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, showing you, directing you, guiding you. So yeah, so just be aware, be aware. So yeah, that's why I feel like I'm not really worried about attachments, but I still do the saging, cause Stacy don't play that. And every time I come in the house, you, you would think, you remember the smoke machine at the skating rink back in the day? <laughs> that's how Stacy, Stacy, that's how Stacy has the sage set up every time I get ready to come in the house. You would think I was running out the tunnel, running out of a tunnel at an NFL game. <laughs> the way Stacy has the sage geared up and ready for me every time I come home. But yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, the sun's starting to come out now. Let me find a tree. This is South Carolina. They have a, a cannon. Here is North Carolina. Let's go under this tree. I think this tree will be considered maybe a North Carolina and a Tennessee. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna go a few more minutes because I think my battery is about to die because I was shifting before I hopped on live. But I probably will come out to another cemetery tomorrow too. This is, oh wow. Okay, this is perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but it's, it's sad, but. This is the unknown, unnumbered heroes. So when I say that's perfect, I feel like this is a good place to talk to people who may not have been visited in a while. So this is for all the soldiers that are unnamed and unnumbered. So I'm gonna probably come do a video here because I think that's just interesting for us to be able to pay our respect, to give them a full dedicated video. I didn't know that this section over here was for the unnamed and unnumbered people. Someone asked, how does the Confederate part of the cemetery make me feel? I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel affected. But I also feel like I've been here so many times that like, I think they kind of know what I do. So yeah, I don't really, yeah. Normally if it's something that negative or doesn't want me there, I usually get like a headache or feel nauseated, but I feel fine. Now they did call me a creep and did tell me to get on. <laughs> but that's fair, that's to be expected. All right, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button. I did the Ben Camp video, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, I got so much heat on my computer that I just have to edit. I did the KKK member Ben Camp. In New Orleans, I met up with Bloody Mary and explored her whole operation. We went to the Lori Mansion we went to Marie Laveau's house that she grew up in. Man, I got a lot. I gotta go to Houston this weekend with the family, but I'm gonna shift out there. But just, I wanna really dedicate the time to editing those videos. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna just push, push those out. 
Like the same way I did the little brief opener with John Bonet, I would love to do that one with Ben Camp, something similar with Ben Camp from the KKA, KKK. Uh, the same way with the Marie Laveau video. I'm trying to put together, research an opener, a two to three minute historical opener to put in front of the video before the spirit box session. So, this, so I'm working, I'm working y'all. Like I'm enjoying what we're doing. I just wanna make sure I'm making the content bigger and better for you guys every month. I don't want y'all to ever get complacent with what we're doing. Like we're doing some cool stuff, but it's my job to figure out how I can make it pretty, <laughs> prettier. So yeah. So to all of the soldiers that are resting here that may not be named or numbered, my name is Daylin and we have almost a thousand people here right now that are just here to say love, love, love and show their respect and just thank you for all that you did. If anyone would like to come speak to me, please feel free. I listen through this box. But I will be back soon to do another one, just with you guys. Y'all, because I think my camera might be, might be about to get drained. My name is Daylin. Can you tell me your name? So I said, please hold. Around. Around. We would love to remember you. Can you tell us your name, please? I heard Richard. I heard Richard. I heard Richard. I heard Richard. Richard, are you here? Richard, can you tell me where you're located? Alright, I'm stuck. This is why. This is why. Why are you stuck? Six. I'm a ghost. Mary Ellen, are you are you able to help our friend? Well, Richard, is there anything that we can do for you? I heard I'm scared. What are you scared of? Can you tell me what you're afraid of? Kind of worried. Is there anyone from our side that can help him out? Say we're with him. No. Went upstairs. Went upstairs? What is this upstairs that keeps coming out? Is that heaven? No. Her revenge me. Do you feel like you need some sort of revenge? Yeah. Said yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. He could. Did someone kill you? So you want the person that killed you 
to get there. Who do you want revenge on? Look, I heard parents. Do you have any regrets? Terrifying. Somebody said I moved. Well, Mary, well, Mary Ellen, are you still here? Y'all, I don't know. But hold on, let me look at this. I'm gonna try something. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, let's see. Hold on. All right. Let's see what this does. Let's see if we can get some SLS action. I don't see it. Literally none of the stones are picking up. Oh, let me see if I can just come over here. If anything will even pick up. It's not even showing up. Nothing's showing up, y'all. Nothing is showing up on the SLS. On the SLS. Yeah, I don't need the internet for that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm not really getting any. It sounded like he said he needed some revenge. What would a soldier need revenge for? Could they have been killed in war? And maybe the person that he felt like harmed him didn't get their judgment or get their, I don't know. I know if I was in war and somebody got me, I would, I would be pissed and I would want to get them. But you would think that maybe by now that person that did that would be on the other side too. That's interesting. Can I pose y'all the question before I get up out of here? And y'all tell me what y'all think. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, y'all. All right, this is a thought that I had the other day when I was doing in New Orleans, when I was reading the stories of a lot of people. Okay, people, okay. So the idea that people go to heaven, right? And you can, God can forgive everything is forgivable and they can go to heaven after being forgiven but i was like dang what if somebody really hurt somebody so like the gentleman here that says he wants revenge so say he was killed by someone and that person survives and then that person repents 
and that person is forgiven and then that person shows up to heaven and all is squared away and washed away but like but do you bump into your victim up there then like then how does your victim feel I don't know what y'all think about that does that make sense does that make sense y'all I don't know I don't know that's just a thought that that just that came back up with Richard or whoever that was that said they want revenge like what if the person that harmed them lived longer was able to right their wrongs and now they're welcomed into the gates and it's like damn man I gotta see the person that did me like this <laughs> and we supposed to be just cool so yeah I mean I guess can you have thoughts of revenge and and stuff in the afterlife do those thoughts still exist y'all let's leave on that thought future ghost love 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 y'all my phone is about to die <laughs> i catch y'all tomorrow i'm gonna drop a video i know i said yesterday i was gonna drop a video yesterday but y'all haven't axel showed her butt yesterday y'all she was not trying to go to bed like she was just all over the place i just could not get any editing done yesterday but today i am so i'm gonna go right now love 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 video dropping tonight